Hello guys, uh, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I will be giving you a detailed spec overview of the Moto2 class, which is the final step before the rider gets to join the elite club of the MotoGP class. This class is the place from where the MotoGP teams mostly scout talent and if you want to see it at the top teams, this is where you have to shine. The Moto2 class has seen many great riders who have made it to the top, such as your current world champion Mark Marquez who won the title back in 2012, Johan Zarco who is a dual Moto2 title winner and he has won the titles in 2015 and 2016, is also a top rider right now. And Franco Morbidelli who rides for the Petronas Yamaha SRT team alongside Fabio Cotteraro also won the title back in 2017. So it is safe to assume that if you perform well in Moto2, you're sure to get a nice seat in MotoGP. So guys, now let's take a deeper look into the technical specifications of the Moto2 bikes. The Moto2 bikes from the year 2019 have gotten a bump up in terms of specifications. Before 2019, we had the Honda CBR 600RR unit that was used as the common engine and there were various chassis manufacturers that would build their bikes around this engine. But in 2019, uh, the bike engine was upgraded to a three-cylinder Triumph 765cc engine. This Triumph engine is a modification and an improved version of the 765cc Street Triple RS engine, which enhances its performance. And some of the improvements that the engine brings over when compared to the normal engine are as follows. Modified cylinder heads with revised inlet and exhaust parts for optimized gas flow, higher co compression ratios, titanium valves, Revised cam timings for increased RPM, higher flow fuel injection, revised first and second gear ratios, adjustable race slipper clutch, magnetic mirror race ECUs, revised engine covers for reduced width. So guys, these are all the engine specifications or should I should say the uh, engine improvements uh, that are bought over when compared to the stock engines that we get to see in Moto2. Not only does the Moto2 class come with an upgraded engine, but also there are custom chassis builders for the bikes. There are various companies that build, uh, that build chassis such as Calyx, Speedup, Suter, and also we had KTM chassis in the mix, but the team withdrew from the chassis manufacturing back in 2019. All the chassis are a work of art and it is the highest level of machine work and building uh, with beautiful and aerodynamic shapes. Calyx chassis are said to be superior in class when compared to all the other manufacturers. Sam Loves came out and said that if our setting was perfect, the speed up was as good as the Calyx. But 99% of the time, it was no advantage to be on the speed up because the setup window was much narrower than that of the Calyx. Loves also said that because many riders were using the Calyx uh, chassis, the database that Calyx had was much stronger and it was easier to get the right setup. Another veteran of the Moto2 class, Thomas Luthi, said that when he switched over to Calyx, he found consistency. So this is the situation with the chassis in Moto2. The official tire manufacturer for the Moto2 class is Dunlop. Racing in Moto2. Racing in Moto2 is not as close and fierce and competitive as Moto3 because of the different chassis setup and the bike setup of the rider, which adds uh, diversity to the pack. But nevertheless, Moto2 has produced some amazing battles over the years and it is the hunting ground for MotoGP teams to choose their new riders uh, from, uh, choose their new riders and it's great fun to watch. And it's always fun to see the younger riders scrap it out for the podium. So if you would like to watch Moto2, it is the next race after Moto3 and just before MotoGP. So yeah, it would be some great fun if you would like to watch the race. So guys, that was it uh, in this uh, that was it for this video if you liked what you saw hit the like button if you dislike what you saw hit the dislike button twice while you're here a sub to the channel would be really great and also don't forget to hit the notification bell and i'll see you in the next one bye bye